So I thought I would come on and do a September report for energy and what's going on at the moment um, for star seeds, indigos and earth angels. So it has been a bit of a summer, hasn't it? I mean, wow, I can't believe the ride we've had. It's just been incredible. Um, not always good. I think the last six weeks has, has been really intense. So I think we're in the final stages now. We are in between the uh, full moon and the new moon, the dark moon on the 9th of September. And we are actually in the month of the hungry ghost or where there is a lot of, um, I'm about to do a blog on this, or a lot of energy that's leaving the planet for good, thank goodness. Like a lot of ancestral energy that's being put to rest, so this is a good time to bless and bless your ancestors, whether you know them or not. Light a candle for them every night and ask for them for any energetic patterns to be removed, um, to go with them, to be put to rest now, any heavy, dense energies that we just don't need when we're moving into the fifth dimension. Just things that um, you may not be aware but that are affecting your life um, are held in our DNA strands and also we, um, our, we, our ancestors hang around us creating energetic kind of uh, problems for us. So this is a good month for doing that and it ends on the 9th of September, the 9th of the 9th, which this year is a dark moon and it's the 9th of the 9th of 18, which if you add 18, one and eight together, it's a nine. So it's a triple nine and nines is all about sort of completion. Um, it's a very powerful number. So make the most of it because this is the journey at the moment. Um, stay positive. Like what you'll notice is or be authentic with your feelings if you're feeling down, but you'll notice some repetitive mind patterns coming in usually negative, usually based around things you're worrying about, stress, and as soon as you concentrate on those, you will be pulling in negative energy and you will notice bad things will happen. So the best thing to do here is open your quantum field each morning. If you don't know how to do that, um, I'm gonna be doing some videos about that and there's some brilliant people on the internet talking about that because we need to um, realign to the higher frequencies. It's like tuning yourself in like a radio station do you want to be on the 3D radio station or do you want to be on the fifth dimensional radio station? Um, I think I know which one I want to be in because once we begin to align with that more and more and draw in that energy and connect with it, you'll be able to manifest much quicker. You'll just feel happier. It's a heart space, a heart matrix. So it will feel much better in your life and more creative, more fulfilling and you'll start attracting the people that are meant to be coming to you, the opportunities, the jobs that are more in alignment with your heart space and your soul energy. So if you've been like me and like the last year has been basically, oh, even 18 months has been like dissolving and getting rid of people from your life that just haven't, you know, haven't been able to meet you, match you energetically into a good place. So you're probably feeling like, you know, how much cl more clearing can we do? I feel like that. So, you know, just stay positive. Remember that there is going to be an end to this. We're going to have a big shift on the 9th of the 9th. And then we're going to have a space, a period of um, drawing in energy, but also clearing to the um, autumn equinox on the 22nd of September. So that will be another big stargate, another big leap for us. Hopefully the end is in sight to this and it will start getting easier, but it really depends on what you're tuning into. So try and tune in to the highest positive vibration that you can. I'm doing two clearings a day, one when I wake up in the morning, one in the evening before I go to sleep. And if I need one in the middle of the day, I'll do it as well. Just get used to this process because this is going to be ongoing. Um, and I'm just sitting behind one of my paintings because I've been drawing light language and I've been really pleased with what's come, been coming through. We've had much more sort of um, galactic information and, you know, we are on the press, we are, we are on the edge of receiving such beautiful energy coming through to the earth plane that's going to benefit light workers. That if you're an indigo, you're going to come into your own. If you're a star seed, you're really going to feel the benefit of being on the planet now. And if you're an earth angel, you know, all that hard work that you've been doing, hopefully it can, you know, shift into another way of working, which is going to be healing, but a lot more lighter and easier and more pleasurable. 
Okay, the only thing I want to add on to this is I've been watching online the body positivity movement, which I think is really fascinating. I might blog on that um, because we're having a, a rising of the divine feminine and I think there's a direct co correlation between women loving their bodies as womanly bodies, as women, whatever shape or size they are, loving every part of their bodies. And if they're men too, loving their bodies because we're all um, here as you know, gifts of the divine and people who are shaming all the, all the mind patterns that have been present in the 3D, the programs that have been running about shaming people for their, you know, their, their weight, their skin color, their hair color, their eye color, their race, whatever it is, you know, all those are um, programs to keep us disempowered. So we're seeing all of that in the media now. It's so fascinating, but hopefully we're moving on to more acceptance, more love, more compassion, more empathy, you know, everything that's going to get us into the heart and create a really wonderful space here to live on earth. Okay, thank you for listening. If you like my work, please, please, please subscribe to my page or follow me on Twitter or Instagram. Um, I'd love to hear from you as well. I've got a f Facebook group if you want to get in contact. And if you like my artwork, I would love some buyers or anybody to hear from anyone who's interested in it. Okay, thank you. Bye.